welcome to Strike Up Beer Late Night Beer Reviews. I'm your host, co-host, Alan and Rapid Dave. I'm Rapid Dave. Yeah, it's, it gets like that late night. I'm, I'm Alan. Pick play. You know, this pick play was crazy. So, yeah, oh. um, tonight, as you might have guessed, we were having some beers that are just kind of hanging around the fridge. We had to grab a couple and just like, hey, it's time for a late one. So what do you have? I have from a Barrel Fest 2022 from 903 Brewers. This is the birthday Sasquatch barrel aged coming in 11% alcohol by volume. Nice. Uh, our signature Imperial chocolate milk stout matures with 24 months of oak aging and brings complex and fun flavors with its additions of double chocolate fudge and marshmallow. Let's celebrate. I don't what know do you if it's good or bad. I don't know. Um, judging from it, I probably didn't get one I want. Oh, buddy. So this oh. looks like a beer that was given to us from Zach and Scott. Yep. From the Brew Fighters. This is a dark. It's a it's a stout. Let me get this off my hands before it stains my hands. So we got them pretty much the same beer, I guess. Uh, we have a you know barrel aged stout. God Almighty, there's there's some things I just didn't want to do before I went to bed, and it was that. Like this is the motor oil out of just an old old car, but it looks. Oh shoot! What just happened? There you go. Sorry about that. Beautiful <laughs> head on it. <laughs> Look at this color, uh, and also the the the. It's so chocolate looking on that on that head. It looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Dude, your head looks so dark. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <sighs> yeah i couldn't tell you where it's from or what it is but it's there and i have it in my hand i remember having that one and enjoying it um it's not bad it's just one you have to kind of take it easy with yeah uh this one is definitely delicious um is that the glass you came with yeah yeah this is the glass from barrel aged he was uh he was over there in Japan. He's in Tokyo right now. What? Uh, he was pouring beer out there over the weekend for something, some festival or something like that. You know, I don't know what the deal is, but uh, Jeremy is just all about spreading 903 all over the world. Like he he's, he distros everywhere, uh, Mexico, Canada. You know, now, I mean, he's in Japan. You're there for a reason, right? right. So it's, it's wild to think about how far that beer can travel out of Jer uh, Sherman, Texas. Would you go as so far as to say that he's possibly the Nick Cannon uh, breweries where he's just trying to spread his seed everywhere as Nick Cannon has like his 14th kid here coming up here soon? Oh, I didn't even, I don't even know who that is. Is that like one of those, uh, was he from like a, a boy band or something? No, he was no. married to Mariah Carey for a while. I mean, who was it? I don't know. I, I wasn't. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. Now. I mean, well, you said who wasn't. Um, he, he, <laughs> I'm talking about anybody from like any notoriety or uh, celebrity. You know what I mean? In in certain circles, I'm kind of a big deal. I just don't know that she's running in those circles. Is that a fake punt? Oh, he he no. gave me an okie doke and then uh, decided to send it. Okay, he's like, it's gonna get blocked. <laughs> he got ran into though, but. I think they called something against the Eagles. And so now they're just really punting it. Oh, yeah. No, he, he went to punt it, but it was, uh, they're like, you know, he's like, it's going to get blocked. I'm not sending it. I can't do it. I can't with good conscience kick the shot of this ball <laughs> because they're going to block it. And so now he gets, he's be able to get all his foot and leg into it and whatnot, but they're going to get it on like the 40 yard line, if not more. So anyhow, um, yeah, no, uh, I was kind of, we kind of talked about this before. Okay. And with Thanksgiving being next week, have right. you cracked into any Thanksgiving movies yet? Uh, no, I have not. There's uh, only a couple anyways. I have to, because I didn't do it last year huh? because I got the movie late, but mm -hmm. I picked up Dutch last year, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't get it till after Thanksgiving. So I saved it for, for this year. Okay. So, uh, you know what? Do you want to talk about that on Wednesday? About what? Dutch. 
we can. Or do we want to do a separate Dutch thing? I've got some concerns about this editorial piece from Rotten Tomatoes. Um, I've got the eight best Thanksgiving movies in front of me. Would you like to hear them? I would love to hear them. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving 1973. You in? Yeah. Wait, that's number eight? Number one. Okay. Okay. Well, you started gonna, the list off wrong. I'm okay. going down because by the time we get to the bottom, you won't even know this is a, a Thanksgiving list. I was concerned when you let off with Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. I'm like, whoa, that's number eight? Yeah. What the hell? Number two. Is one through seven planes, trains, and automobiles? <laughs> Number two, Miracle on 34th Street. That's not a Thanksgiving movie. That's a Christmas movie. Uh, number three, Krisha from 2015. Never heard of it. Yeah, she sounds hideous. Number four, Little Women, 2019. Don't know what that is either. It's like an old like book. Jane Abbott book or Jane Austen. Um, I thought that story took place before Thanksgiving. I'm going to flip it because I have Town and Country Mag, but I also got this. I'm roasting this Rotten Tomatoes one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number five, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. This is uh, uh, null and void. Yeah. Number Would six. You, yeah, just, I, I don't even understand what's going on. Number six, on. The Humans. What, what? I don't know what, 2021, I don't know. Number seven, Hannah, Hannah and Her Sisters, 1986. I don't know, I've never heard of that movie either. Six, what the hell is going Number on? Number eight, Sin of a Woman. <laughs> Was like Al Pacino was like a deaf guy or a blind guy or something. He's blind with Chris O'Donnell. I don't know what the hell's going on because I don't get it. It's most this is the most absurd list I've ever heard in my life. And and you know what? Bills was what five? This is why I don't trust five? seven or five. Yeah, whatever it was. That's why I don't trust any of these effing things because they're written by people who have no effing idea what's going on in the world. They have no idea what Thanksgiving is. Apparently, you know, they, they probably are. They're probably out there protesting Thanksgiving and then telling you to go watch uh, "Fucking You Got Mail" or something like that. Whatever they just said. <laughs> what? So, anyways, <laughs> speaking of which, are you ready uh, for the the other list, the country woman list? Yeah, we're gonna go top to top to bottom because there's 25. Yeah. I'm not gonna go all the way down to 25. Let's, we're gonna do. Let's this just list. do 10 to one. Do 10 to one. Start at 10. 10, 10, 10. Start all right. 10. Let me see. Don't don't give me a heart attack right off the bat. Let's just start at ten. Well, let me give you eleven because I think eleven's a, a worthy note. Okay. Number eleven, Garfield's Thanksgiving, nineteen eighty nine. I'm in. <laughs> Is that another fumble? Uh, number ten. Uh, it's a replay. Number ten, Adam's Family Values. Okay. That's there Thanksgiving. That's Thanksgiving. Um. Nine, Home for the Holidays. Anything that's Home for the Holidays and it's a Christmas movie, it, it's disqualified. Uh, number eight, Fantastic Mr. Fox, 2009. Never seen it. It's animated, it looks like. Yeah, it's like more like a... It's that um, Tim Burton type animation, I think. Oh, okay. Like Corpse Bride, oh. and things like Stop Animation, I think, or something. Number seven, Pieces of April, 2003. Never heard of it. Don't know what it is. Uh, number six, Scent of a Woman. I don't know what the deal is. I've never, you know, we're going to have to watch that before Thanksgiving and talk about it. Because I honestly, I've never seen it. I've seen it once or twice, but back in the day. I just know Al Pacino's a blind guy. <laughs> number five, One True Thing. I can see a lot of Christmas colors, so I assume it's Christmas. Number four, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. What? Number four. Number four. Number three, you've got mail. You've got mail. I didn't even know that was that. Uh, number two, The Big Chill, 1983. Okay. I don't know what that is. Do you know what that is? I, I'm i pretty sure I've seen it. And I've seen it on a lot of like the holiday movie list type things. Here, uh, it says but... quintessential Thanksgiving factor. Though the film doesn't take place over the holiday, it centers around eight friends who come together for a funeral of a college friend. It does take place in the fall and has plenty of ensemble cast drama long, and long talks around the kitchen tables. So I'm like, that's not, I don't care. Thanksgiving movies are about Thanksgiving. And number one, drum roll, please. Planes, trains, and automobiles, 1987. So this list, I can have a little bit of fun with, which I'm okay with. Uh, 
But Charlie Brown was number four. I'm looking for Dutch. Dutch is not listed. Uh, obviously. List. Well, so you're at 25. So it's not even in the top 25. That's what I do. I was it. I mean, I I can't speak because I've never seen it. But like I've heard you talk about it for the last 12 years or whatever. Well, let me tell you um, this. Let Let's go to another website. Maybe they haven't been bought off. <laughs> Purewow.com. Pure wow, you know. Wow, here, here, here we go. I already like it better. Number one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going top, I'm going top to bottom. No, no, no. You, you go ass to mouth. Come on. Let's not do this. Sin sin of a woman's number five. They got, they got tire tower heist as number six. What? What? How many is on this list and where are we starting? Shit, we started oh, at five and we went to six. We're starting at five. <laughs> okay. Then of a woman. Okay. Well, apparently, this is during the holidays. Apparently, we've got to see this movie. Yeah. Like, Tyler Henneke is down, sitting with his knee on the ground, and they go and like just run his ass over like a bunch of morons. Yeah, they uh, got a penalty for that. Number four, Friendsgiving 2020. Friendsgiving. Okay. Yeah. So that's the thing I've heard of that. Is Number that three, get those hands together. No. Dutch, nineteen ninety one. Okay, I haven't seen it, but I can't. I can't speak to it. But it's the first time it's shown up on the list. I know. Holidays number two. It's from twenty twenty. Holiday. Okay, I've heard yeah. it. That's what like Queen Latifah, isn't it? I don't know. It just shows like people that look like they're part of Netflix movies. I think it's like I think like Queen Latifah and like Cameron Diaz are in that. No, Emma Roberts and oh. that's it. There's no other names listed. And then number one is Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. So for me, whoa, um, whoa, 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 whoa! You gave me six through one, and I didn't hear planes, trains, and automobiles on this ranking. They have them at number twenty. What? <laughs> they have it. They have a number twenty behind for your consideration, which is a smoking movie. Garfield's Thanksgiving is number eighteen. <laughs> you said number twenty. Yeah. What the? Fuck is <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's just what one of those things. What's going on here? So it sounds like we need to do our own rankings and publish publish something because at this point. It's complete malarkey and insanity. At this point, I got Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, and I got playing trains and automobiles. So here's my rankings for Thanksgiving movies. Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Right. Playing trains and automobiles. Okay. Dutch. Right. I haven't seen Dutch yet, so I can't throw them on the list. They so are, they're all number one. They're A, B, <laughs> and C. <laughs> and so here's my other question. Like I asked you, I think I asked you already. So you haven't watched any uh holiday movie, like a Thanksgiving movie yet. No, 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 I haven't. We fired up Planes, Trains, and Automobiles last night or the night before. I can't remember. I think it might have been maybe it was last night. I don't I'm know. Gonna fire, I'm gonna fire it up tomorrow. Or Apparently, I bought the movie on Amazon already. So, it, like, I just hit it and then I went searching for it. And there was a, I have like three DVD copies of it. Uh, Lizzie's dad stole one and he, he don't know where it is. So, I bought another and now I don't know where it is. And so, like, you know, it's just people are running off with this. It's, it's, with, your, it's, it's with your copy of Dutch, is where it is. Cause you've been telling me for like 12 years, you have a copy of Dutch. Well, I got the sealed one that I got from Australia that says you can't buy it in the States. I got that one in the closet. It ain't going anywhere, but Dutch is somewhere in this house. I got Dutch that I, I, I got it on Walmart's website last year, like yeah. just out of the blue, because I, I, I've i been trying to find it for 12. You've been telling me about this damn movie for 12 years, and I haven't been able to find it. And I just randomly pulled up Walmart one day and just typed Dutch, and it pops up, and it was like 10 bucks. And again, it's from Australia. But I was like, I'll buy it and ex fully expecting it not to actually show up. And then it showed up. Oh, touchdown. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, it was one of those things where, you know, you picked it up. You're like, Hey, I finally got a hole. I go, you looked it up too. And you were like, yeah. And so we went through it and sure as shit. Oh, you, the wrong team got the touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he doing the gritty? <laughs> <laughs> <Idiot>. <laughs> Oh, that's a terrible gritty. Um, so yeah, there you go. Eagles loss. 
Uh, first loss of the season handed to him Everybody by the walking Miami's pond. Dropping bottles. God. Uh, seventy was it seventy two dolphins or popping bottles or whatever year they were. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things where or it just randomly when you said that you got it, I go, you bought it too, and it was like, I don't know, it was uh, within twenty four hours we had bought the same yeah. damn DVD, yeah. um, had it shipped to our house and stuff like that. So. But for me, you know, this is 15 minutes. We're 15 minutes in. We probably need to go just a little bit quicker. Um, but the beers we're having are a little bit heavier, a little Ooh. bit higher ABV. But um, but for us, Thanksgiving movies, here's my question to you. It's another question. Have you broken the seal on any Christmas movie yet? No. I, I will break the seal in three days from today. Now, when you watch this, it won't be three days, but on November 17th, I will break the seal and I'm going to watch a Christmas story Christmas. And I'm going to watch it. What what day is that? That's uh, is that Thursday. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to watch it on Thursday. Are, are, you need to work from home on Thursday. I'll see what I can do. Because. Yeah. Busy we've got to do a we got to do a review on it so i i broke the seal uh not only did i break the seal i've snapped that damn thing in half i've watched elf um i've watched fred claus i've watched christmas vacation but as i was falling asleep uh home alone one and two were on tonight and i just put it on free form and they were on we watched what else was on i just put on movie that freeform's got them all on so i just like got throw it on like that's all i'm telling you i'm tired of football so i'm just watching christmas movies i was like buddy the elf what's your favorite color like, <laughs> so, so you said fred claus and i watched uh planes trains and automobiles okay but well, that's thanksgiving so yeah, yeah. you're allowed to watch that one right now so mm-hmm. but let me ask you this is it with fred claus is there anything better than ludicrous as an elf I asked Lizzie, I was like, hey, um, why the hell did Ludacris play this role? Why not? He's. It, she's like, yeah, why not? She, he wants to be an actor. I go, yeah, but he's like acting like an elf. And he's sitting there trying to bite Fred Claus. And he's like, he's like, gang, 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 gang. he's like trying to bite him. And he's like slugging him in the legs and stuff like that. It's like, it, it gets put in the. He that keeps playing this. He's he's the DJ. He's playing the same song over and over and over. DJ again. Donnie. Hey, and Fred shows up. He's like, "Hey, man, maybe play something else, a little something different." No, no. no. How's Carson Winston trying to keep his hand warm? You're, you don't have to worry about you, bud. Did something happen? Why is everybody down on the ground? Uh, uh, uh they're saying prayers. The oh, okay. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Heineke's in the middle. I assume they're praying to him. I don't know. No, they're signing jerseys. Oh. Him and Zach Pascal are trading jerseys. You could do better than that, Heineke. You could do better than that. Dude, I mean, he's a proven winner. That's all I know. So, 10th career win tonight. Yep. Nothing but dubs. The guy's on fire, bro. The guy's on fire. Um, so yeah, no, I I once I broke the seal, I'm like, okay, now we're just watching whatever. I even like when uh, Bella came over to the house, I was like, "Hey, what do you want to watch?" She had on uh like, you know, some you know, Disney movie or whatever. I was like, you want to watch a Christmas movie or whatever? She's like, oh, yeah, I guess. I go, what's your favorite one? She goes, and she's like, uh, oh, Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Uh, what's that other one? The Jim Carrey. The Christmas. Grinch. The so, Gr- we watched, okay. Okay. so we watched The Grinch. Um, we had that on today, and I watched it as well. I was like, oh, shit, I watched that too. And so, yeah, no, I'm already ass deep in alligators, man. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm so damn deep right now with uh, Christmas movies. I said I wasn't going to do it. But I still watch the Thanksgiving movies. I can't wait till next week. You know, Thanksgiving is next Thursday, and we are just super excited here. I feel like I'm in Tropic Thunder, and I'm talking. You're Ben Stiller, and I'm looking at you. You never go full retard. You don't do it. What are you that's, doing? It's a quote from the movie. You can't quote movies anymore on this show. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know we weren't allowed to quote movies on this show anymore. You're simple, Jack. You get anything else? <laughs> How's your? <laughs> They're doing the. Uh, I don't know why I get it. I'm on a Taco Bell commercial, man. Let's go. What do you got? I'm past the Taco Bell commercial. I'm on like a. Spit it out. 
I'm, I'm on a, a, oh. a Verizon commercial for iPhone, and it's so- Zach Braff and John, Donald Faison reenacting Christmas story. I'm so tired of this commercial. I'm tired of them in general. That's the first time I've seen that commercial, and I, I just, yeah. I, it, it's it's awesome. I'm over. It. Um, I'm over it. I almost fired up Christmas Story, which I usually save for Christmas Eve. But I was like, you know what? Why not watch it? And then, because I, I tell you what, if I do watch it, it'll be right before the Christmas Story Christmas. I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna watch it uh, just to go back and relive it because I don't give it everything that it means to me. Because I only watch it for. I watch it for 24 hours. 24 hours of Christmas stories on TBS and TNT every single year. And it's like, you know, it's on, but it's kind of in the background. I probably sit down and watch like one full session of it. But oh, I'm like, oh, I definitely like, watch more than that. But I mean, you know, with putting things together and doing this and doing that, it's like, you know, shit. But a full session of sitting there not doing anything, I don't think so. Um, but I'm going to watch it before I watch the new one. I, I definitely, so I definitely try to always save it for, for Christmas Eve, right? But then, with the youngest, she's really gotten into it, and she'll be sitting down. She's like, "Hey, Dad, I'm gonna watch Christmas Story. You want to watch it with me?" Well, yeah, I want to watch it with you. Like, it's my favorite Christmas movie. Yes, let's sit down and watch it. So I'll watch it a couple times with the kiddo before Christmas Eve. But it's it's only if she brings it up. Like, she's like, "Hey, Dad, I'm gonna go watch this." Okay, well then I'll yes, I'll join you. So cool, cool, cool. All right, let's finish these off and let's get out of here. But yeah, these uh, this one I don't know. I wish I knew where this came from because it really is good. It's got no, that's from, that's from Zach and Scott. Well, no, um, who made it and where it's from? I I think that was one of the ones they did with the the big rig guys. Big rig, it's so yeah. damn good. The pour was perfect. The head on it was a nice tan color, like beautiful brown. Uh, right. The color of the actual beer is quite dark. It's got a great flavor, great taste. It it's goes down pretty smooth. It's a really good beer. I wish I had some more of that one. Um, I, everything everything else that I have from them is Adios Mofo. I still got a six pack that I've been holding out for for our boy Javi on Patreon, um, but he never he he won't message me back with the address so I can go give it to him. But I'm gonna give him a little bit longer before I just say, hey, I'm just gonna have to drink this. Um, but that's all that I have from them right now is Adios Mofo. Um, some of those pulled back, but. I'll probably it's send you on your way. I got one more of these beers, so I'll just send it with you. Okay. All right. And then, but right now I'm, I'm drinking the uh, birthday Sasquatch, which I, 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 the, the bottle is awesome. Um, I almost, I didn't really want to drink this yet because again, it's the barrel age. You let it age. They do a great job at bottling these and let them sit. Uh, I got like three, I think I might have two, maybe three others of, of these. Um, but those were the oldest ones that I had in the fridge that I haven't already had with a clear the fridge type episode. Like I have the melted back there. Um, I have a couple of brutal beers that I've had on the clear the fridge episode. Um, a, a few other ones that I, I've already done on the clear the fridge episode type thing. So I, I opted for something different and it's, it's delicious. It's, it's everything that I remember it being earlier this year when we had it. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, I don't suggest pounding this. I've had a couple like big gulps back to back and it just really was kind of real stringent, uh, overpowering, overbearing. So yeah, you definitely want to sip this beer. Don't, don't try to just like, you know what? I'm going to slam it real quick because you're going to get a negative aftertaste. You're going to have a negative effect on it. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm down to this much right here. So I'm, I'm about to get it. Yeah. Get after it, but it, Again, drinking this beer in in twenty four minutes, and this is a you know it's 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 the bigger bottle. It's how many ounces is this bad boy? It's a, it's a pint. Uh, these glasses aren't pint glasses though. This doesn't quite hold a pint because I had to do a few pours with it. But man, it was really good. Like if you haven't had anything from nine hundred three, you're missing out. Like. They're a really good, great brewery here in Texas. And you can get everywhere. Like you said, he was out in Japan pouring yeah. beers. Uh, beers everywhere. Like Total Wine yeah. or your local beer store, their beers are there. And if there's a certain beer that you want, just make the drive up to Sherman because they have phenomenal food, a great little area. And this is probably the best time to go. 
it's the, you know it's not hot outside it's a little bit chilly you get to go up there hey you know what stop out there then head on up to windstar and drop a couple bucks to see what's going on you know what there i mean you but hey if you're watching this and you can't get a 903 beer send us a message i'll hook you up how's that sound no that okay you, no. Not me. No. You do that's why i just said i'll hook you up like, okay whatever uh, no one watches our videos anyway so whatever nope unfortunately but Thumbs up on the aged beers today. Love them. Thank you guys so much for watching us. As always, I'm Alan. I'm Rabbit Dave. Talk to you guys later. Deuces.